<laughs> Love is in the air and in the kitchen on the early show this morning. Our chef on a shoestring, our husband and wife team. A husband and wife team. There's a little theme here. This is Lachlan and Allison Patterson. He's the executive chef at Frasca in Boulder, Colorado. She's the co-founder of Icebox Bakery Cookies. Together they will create a romantic three-course Valentine's dinner on our recession busting. $35 budget. And what better way to celebrate our wedding couple than to have a couple of chefs here to join us. Good to see you both. How are you? Thanks, Chris. Good, Good, Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, Good to see you again. Not that everybody's talking. Oh, you know. I'm in the spirit because <laughs> it's a wedding. Let's talk about what's, uh, what's on the menu. What do we have? Um, so for our Valentine's on a shoestring, we have a radicchio salad with Parmesan, some Colorado lamb chops with some roasted fingerling potatoes, and then ice cream cookie sandwiches for dessert. Soup. Oh, God, I love those. You're going to love dessert. Now, our couple's got the salad over there on Let their plate. The already. What, what did we So the salad, we've got a radicchio salad, which is a kind of a bitter, bitter green. Yep. And uh, when you soak it in ice water, it gets really, really, really crispy. Very popular, though. Very popular. So we're gonna we just season that with a little bit of red wine vinegar, and the more vinegar you actually add, the sweeter the the lettuce becomes, which is kind of fun. Really. So taste it after you do it. If you think it needs a little bit more sweetness, add a little bit more vinegar. So there's olive oil, oregano, salt. Um, and a touch of Parmesan at the end. Talk about like easy Giano, and affordable. Probably doesn't get much easier or affordable than that. Spray a little Parmesan on top. Exactly. Toss it up and, and you're ready to go. Make it a little in advance if you want, if you want to save a little time. And we have uh, for our main course here. So for our main course, we have something really elegant, really fun. Uh, lamb chops are, you know, not typically associated with a budget. Mm -hmm. But when you buy just the individual chops, you can, you, you know, kind of buy as you go. Yeah, the different so, cuts, though, different price, obviously, with the different, uh, the different type of cut or chop you get. These... In the price range, what would you say? Yeah, in the middle of the road. Yeah, middle of the road, exactly. So we do two per person. Okay. And it, and it all comes in well. So Allie's gonna season them with a little bit of mustard. And what is uh, what is this? What do we have? With so this is makeup? mustard, uh, rosemary, okay. and garlic. And so you can do it ahead. The longer you do it ahead, the more zing it's gonna have, the more pizzazz, all that stuff. Now, when you say marinate them ahead, how much time are we looking at here? What would so be best? So you could marinate anything from a day ahead to a couple hours. Really? If it's an hour ahead, just add a little bit more mustard. Keep them covered, put them in the fridge, just let them go, huh? Just, yeah, just let them go. And so here we're gonna just put a little breadcrumb on them. Sure. Like that, because this gives it a nice crust. You know, you don't have the whole rack. Mm -hmm. So with just the chop, you put a little breadcrumbs on them, set them right in the, in, uh, in the oil here. You want to dredge one of these, Chris? Come on, man. Absolutely love to. <laughs> no, I, I, I got it. I got it. I'm getting involved. Here, you, you take you, this okay, one. Huh? Okay, leave me that one. Nice. Dredge. The, oh. Let's get all these in there. Folks over there, it looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, it does. It smells pretty good, too. Well, you know, we're actually going to get you a plate over there in a second. <laughs> while you're cooking that up for a second, where is my tasting plate? I want to get them. Right here. Ah, over here. I'm just going to serve them while you guys continue to, to work on over there. You've had a chance to sample your sound. I'm just going to yep, put your main you. course oh, down you. as well. And uh, you know, I've got to remember, it's always from the, well, it's from the left. Hope you're enjoying this so far. You guys look great, by the way. <laughs> so many great pictures. Right. Now some for, uh, we're going to just obviously let them yes. cook up until they look nice and brown on either side, Yeah, correct? it's like a few minutes on each side. If you want it well done, just throw them in the oven. Now the big, uh, the big question here is dessert. Yeah, they know dessert. Exciting they love the meal over there, but I'll get this out of the way. You're cooking. What do we mm -hmm. have here? Ice cream and cookies. Does there, is there a better combination out there? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> easy question. So use your favorite cookie recipe. Okay. I, I, I did it the easy way. I sliced and baked. But um, you can take your cookies and just for something different, I mean, it's just a basic ice cream sandwich, but take a little heart cutter and punch out a little heart, third out of the middle. Try one if you don't mind. Absolutely. <laughs> then you can take your ice cream, just soft, you know, take it out of the freezer a little bit ahead of time yep. so it's soft enough for you to spread. Get it right on there. Do I, do yeah, do you, so you do, do some smear. Do, do, do a little bit of smear in there. You guys are a great couple. You help out in every <laughs> sense of the world. Seriously. Perfect. Top so it warm off. and friendly when you Top first hug me to oh. begin the segment. Look at that. You get a cute little Show the folks at home. Turn around, ice cream right in the middle. I want one of these. One cookie, two cookies, ice cream, and boom. I'll, I'll make you one. Have a sandwich. I'll make you a great one. Tell Erica Lonnie, the look at this. I, don't that. Cut out. I love them. Stick them on the yeah. top, or they're perfect for oh, your kids' lunch. I was going to say, this is good for my lunch. How popular yeah. is this at the bakery? Aww, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, let's see exactly how you did on the cost. We're sorry we had to rush you guys through this a little bit, but as you can see, it's a big morning here. A little cold play in the background. Grand total. Let's see your grand total. What do we have here? Do we do it? How about, let's say, the plunger says, look at that, 34.24. Gonna go pretty low here. In our How Low Can You Go Challenge, you are currently 
in second place. Hey. The, the happy hey. couple are nice. enthralled wow. right now. There you go. Oh. Second place Thank after uh, Patrick uh, Colony, uh, Colony, Colony, rather, who was here last week from Bobo here in New York. Hey, if you'd like any of our Chef on a Shoestring recipes, you can log on to our website. The address, of course, is earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Before we say goodbye to our chef, what did you guys think? So far, so good? Perfect. It is yeah. good. Don't be afraid. I know it's not polite to eat on television, but this is your day, so you guys can, you guys can enjoy it. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Allison, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 And it's 9 o'clock in the morning.